Hello everyone, this is SK. Today I'm going to teach you how to create custom login sounds in Windows XP. By default, Windows XP uses dot .wave sound format to play back login or logoff sounds. So if you want some of your favorite songs to be set as login sound in Windows XP, all you have to do is to create sorry all you have to do is to convert this mp3 format into wave format how can you do that it's very simple i already have a software called mp3 cutter this is a freeware you can download it from the internet you just click on file menu click on import and select an mp3 file i'm selecting i want to break free by queen save open it will take only seconds to scan the file as soon as the scanning is over this file will appear here under the project bin window so you double click on this file and you come to this cutter window you just pause the playing file playing audio file you bring back the slider to its original position and here in the cutter window you have quite a few options at the top you have mark in current and mark out under mark out you have quite a few numbers starting from the right 37 denotes milliseconds 58 for seconds 03 for minutes and 00 for hours so what it basically tells is the length of that particular song that is 3 minutes 58 seconds is the total length of that song so all we need is a particular section of the song which we can set it as the login sound in Windows XP. How can you do that? Here in the middle you have the slider. So whenever I move the slider at the bottom right corner of the cutter window you can see there is a label it says seeking. It tells me exactly where I am seeking that slider. Right now it's in 18, 21, 22, 26. I am going to put it at 30. So under current it currently shows the current position of that particular slider so if i want my song to start 30th second all i have to do is to click on this left blue arrow key which is simply the marking that is the start point of the audio so i want my audio to start at the 30th, 30th second and i want to end it at the 50th second so again i'm going to drag the slide to my right till i get to the 50 say it's seeking 49 I'm not able to put it exactly on 50 so I'm leaving it at 49.37 so if I want the slider to be exactly on 50 uh, all I have to do is to use the arrow keys on my keyboard instead of the mouse so I'm going to use my right arrow key and when I press the uh, press the right arrow key you can look closely under the current I can manipulate it from 37 to 38, 39. Basically, I'm doing it from millisecond by millisecond. So I'm going to move my slider millisecond by millisecond till I get to that 50th second. Or we can make it as 50.08. And that's it. So I'm going to mark out this section by clicking on this right blue arrow key so my start point is 30.08 and my end point is 50.08 so i'm going to save this selection how can i do that just click on this red arrow pointing towards the right you just click on that and you can see at the bottom in the queue list you have just selected that you have just saved that selection and put it here on the queue list window so all you have to do is to export this selection as WAV file. How can you do that? You just right click on this and say export as. I'm putting it in my desktop. And this is very important. Save the type as WAV file. And you give a name for that. I'm going it as queen one just say save so 
so and it's exporting it as dot wave file so i'm closing this window it will say current project was modified are you sure you want to quit i will say yes so at the desktop in my desktop i have queen one dot wave so this is the file which is basically we are going to put it as the login sound for my windows xp how can you do that so we have the file we are going to set it right here start control panel click on sound speech and audio devices again click on sounds and audio devices and you will have a window which says sounds and audio devices properties in that you click on sounds tab at the bottom yes program events within that you scroll down till you get to start windows start windows so for this we are going to set that queen one wave file so how can you do that make sure this start window is selected you click on browse and go to the desktop and select queen one dot wave and save ok so right now our start windows will have queen one dot wave as the login sound so i'm click on apply and save ok and that's it that's how you set up customized login sound for windows xp so where next time when you log off and login you'll have this queen one dot wave file playing for you instead of the default windows xp sound so hope you enjoyed my video you have a nice day